All right, all right. <clears throat> Today we're going to be reacting to 300 pound Taekwondo master Chris Barnett. And I haven't seen this guy at all yet, so this should be good. The only thing I saw was a spin kick opening up the video. But just seeing that spin kick, man. A guy with that size moving that fast. Pretty impressive. Yes! Yes! Hold on now. To do where he, he slips that punch. And then he lets John Velasse back in. Oh, the clean spin kicks, man. Dude has great hip flexibility, explosive power. Imagine how much explosive power he actually has to be able to move like that at that size. It's insane. Can't touch this. On up. Oh! Chris Barnett became a prominent figure wherever he performed. Under the nickname Beast Boy or Huggy Bear, he would walk to the cage in plush pajamas, put on dance numbers, and generate spectacular finishes. Shatter this dude is not human. He's a damn Super Saiyan, guys. Yo, this is this is the type of fighter I like. Being somebody who started off with Taekwondo, I love I love the kicks, man. I love it. Definitely gonna keep watching this fighter. Bring people's expectations. A guy that Yo. chubby shouldn't be able to leap into the Yo. air and throw spinning kicks. But Chris. You guys see how high he just jumped to throw that punch? It's like he doesn't even have any weight to his body. This guy's a superhuman, man. His legs must be like, I don't know. I wonder how much this guy can squat. To do it. Oh, no. And today we refresh the memories of his path into the biggest MMA league. He lets John Vellante back in. That dude has some brain damage right there. Oh, what an ass. Barnett was born in Spain, where his father was serving in the military at the time. A little later, the family moved to the United States. Nacido en España. To Colorado. Both parents and the older brother were deeply engaged in martial arts and practiced Taekwondo. So Chris had no choice but to hang out with them in the gym since childhood. The young talent quickly reached black belt level and from the 10th grade began training in wrestling. This allowed him to get a sports scholarship for a small college in Kentucky. While being there, Chris added judo to the fighting arsenal. How would you guys like to wrestle that guy, dude? Oh my god, man. That guy's back is gonna get snapped as he couldn't find anything else to do after classes. Barnett started MMA after graduating and moving to Florida. No one in the gym took the freshman seriously due to his plush panda looks. But at the age of 22, Chris weighed 300 pounds and was 5 foot 9 inches tall, but had the mobility and agility of a lightweight. When he came to meet Extreme Fighting Championship matchmakers, they were amazed and swiftly signed Barnett. Axe kick, guys. That's that old school Taekwondo right there. I love the axe kick. Now, yes, does it put you in a bad position if there's grappling involved? I would agree it does. But if it's just a stand up fight, the axe kick is a great tool. Especially if you're flexible enough to trick somebody, get in the punching range, jab, jab, act like you're gonna cross, pop, axe kick right over the top. Actually, right here, boom, that's where I used to throw it. In April 2009, the newcomer made his professional debut. The first opponent was Jonathan Ivey, who had more than 70 fights under his belt. Chris beat the brakes off his foe for 15 minutes. It's like a damn Ip Man movie. Holy shit. He threw a variety of kicks, constantly landed combinations, and dominated on the ground. At some point, Barnett got super confident and went for a suplex. <laughs> After adding finishing touches to a thorough ass kicking, the debutante took the victory by unanimous decision. Four months later, imagine this guy in your local bar. If he has too much to drink, he just loses his shit, dude. He'd just wail on everybody. How many security guards would it take to get this guy out of here? Chris was back in the game. His rival, Danny Perez, compiled a three-fight winning streak and was set to bring the Chubster back down to earth. 
Barnett immediately started utilizing kicks, but quickly got stuck in the clinch. Before the break, he almost landed an overhand, missing by an inch. At the start of the second round, Beast Boy found the range. That clean overhand probably rocked his jaw. Dislocated that shit. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that happened, but it's a possibility. Chris celebrated his success with a flurry of emotions and a spectacular front flip. Barnett's next appearance was at the XFC 10 event. Across from him stood an American top team student, Kenny Garner. The future M1 champion was 35 years old. I'm gonna react to one more fight and then cut it off, man. I'm not gonna react to the whole thing. Just making a quick video for you guys. And just starting his MMA journey. Garner fiercely made his way into the clinch and put Barnett on the canvas ending up in a mount. Agile Chris tried to counter several times, but the enemy eventually took the back and attacked the neck. <laughs> Beast Boy survived, got back to his feet, and staged a real assault until the bell sounded. This guy literally survived death, dude. He was getting choked out and he got out of that shit. Yeah, he's a monster. He doesn't, he doesn't quit. He doesn't have an off button. He's going. The second round began with a powerful throw oh, 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 oh. and ended with an ill-advised kick. However, Barnett quickly flipped the script and even tried to go for an Americana. But time ran out again. In the final round, the Kung Fu Panda transformed into a bear. Another takedown, and before long, Garner was stopped with punches on the ground. Yeah, dude, this guy is like insanely strong, dude. You can just see the power difference between the two. It's ridiculous. Tá castigado, tá ajoelhado no milho, Kenneth Garner. Vai batendo, o árbitro para e encerra a luta. After the battle, Barnett, in his usual style, delighted the audience with acrobatic sketches, turning it into a trademark. Sensacional, gordinho, mais uma vez, belíssima vitória. All right, cars. This guy, Chris Barnett, he's a beast. He's a badass. I'm glad I checked him out. Definitely gonna keep looking into his fights. Just to see a guy move around like that at that size with those clean kicks, clean spin kicks, kicking combos. His cardio is insane. His explosive speed is insane. This guy's all, all around a beast. His wrestling is good. He's good. He's good, man. Peace. Ah! Ah!